Hi, welcome back to uh, another tutorial here. Um, what we're going to have a look at today is um, creating a nut a washer and a bolt. This is going to be a two part tutorial. So um, we're going to start off with the nut and the washer in the first part, and then we'll move on to the bolt in the second part. Okay, so um, creating a nut washer and a bolt. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to get data for sizes. So the easiest way to do that is just pop on the internet, quick Google search of um, nut bolt washer sizes, uh, standard sizes. Uh, what we're going to look at today is we're going to take a standard um, 10 um, nut bolt and washer. Once we've got them sizes, it becomes really easy. We can follow the model using them sizes. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the nut. Um, so for the nut, I'm going to start on the front plane. And I'm going to go to sketch, which will orientate the front plane straight on. Then from there, I'm going to pop down to the polygon symbol uh, in the sketch area. And I'm going to create a polygon. Now I'm going to try and keep the point of my polygon going horizontal, uh, vertical straight up the drawing area. And from once I've drawn that, I'm going to add a relationship. This will just lock it in place. So I'm going to add a relationship between the top point of my polygon, the highest point, and my origin. And I'm going to add a vertical relationship. That just means that will stay in line and won't move. It will help me define this drawing. From there, I'm going to dimension up. And using this as an M10 bolt, I've got the size straight off um, a size sheet. And the distance from one side to the other would be 17 millimeters. Now, depending on what size bolt you're making would vary the size of the top, the distance across. Uh, if you're making a smaller or larger, that value will differ. So you just check on your sheets and your uh, values to make sure you get the correct size for the size bolt that you're making. Once I've got that size, you'll see it's defined itself um, on the outside of the drawing there, all the lines are black. So I am now going to sketch the hole for the center of my nut. Now, with it being an M10 nut, the hole for the center is going to be 10 milli. So that's my center size. Okay. And you'll see the drawing there is fully defined with the two dimensions and the relationship attached to the top of the polygon. From there, I am going to then extrude that shape. So features, extrude. And with the size of this being an M10 nut, it is going to be 8 milli uh, extrude. Okay, now we've got the basic shape, but that's not a full nut altogether. So what we want to do is we want to add some more detail to that. Um, with a nut, we'll find that we should have a small little chamfer on the outside edges of these corners. So I'm going to create that quite easy just by sketching on that front face. And I am just going to create so I can see that straight on, make it normal to that front face. Sketch a circle, and I'm going to put it right up to the outside edge there, from the origin right up to the outside edge. I'm going to get a dimension tool, and I'm just going to dimension that up so it's fully defined. Make sure I've snapped it to that edge as well. So it should be 17 millimeters, and it is. Okay, now this is the slightly tricky bit. We're going to cut off these edges using this circle. So I'm going to go to Features, and I'm going to go to Cut. Now. I couldn't find anything that gave me a specific angle in which I cut that edge off. So I'm guessing 60 degrees looks about right. So I'm going to create a draft angle of around of 60 degrees. And from that draft angle, I am then rather than cut the inside of the circle, I'm going to cut the outside. So I'm going to flip the side to cut for that circle, which will just cut the material off the outside of the circle rather than the inside. It won't preview this, but when I press OK, you'll be able to see what happens. You see there, now it's taken off the edges of the corners of that nut. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. I'm going to sketch on that side. And again, I'm going to sketch a circle, 
from the origin up to the edge. Now, bad practice there drawing on an angle, so it's always best to draw normal to the plane so that you've got the plane straight on. Okay, so there we go. Make sure again it's the right size. 17, tick that there. And you'll see the drawing's fully defined again. So I'm just going to repeat the same process features. And I am going to, again, create a draft angle of 60 degrees. And this time, I am going to, sorry there, I'm extruding, cutting. Uh, create a draft angle of 60 degrees and flip side to cut. Okay. Again, this should cut off the outside. So I'll just give it a quick click. And we've got that outside edge cut off. Okay, looking like so. Now the only bit we're missing for the nut is a thread through the center. Okay, now in SOLIDWORKS 2019, there's a great tool here for this. If we go up to the whole wizard in the features options and we can go to thread, click on thread. And what it's gonna ask me to do is click a inside diameter reference. Um, I'm just going to check to make sure my thread diameter. So we're looking at an M10. Now we're in the metric. So if we go down for our thread information on the side, it's going to ask us for specific information. First thing it wants us to do is pick the inside diameter for that hole. So I'm going to select that one on the side there. Now the thread that's come on is slightly too big. Uh, we need to make sure we've got the right size. So I'm going to go down. And I am going to make sure that I've got the right information. So it's giving me at the moment a metric die. Well, this isn't going to be a die because a die is for the outside of a shaft. I need a tap. So I'm going to go for a metric tap. I am then going to set the correct size. So this is an M20. I need an M10. So I'm just going to find my M10. And it's going to be a standard 1.5 pitch. Okay, and that looks a little bit better there. Now, the only difference here, if we look from the side on, you'll see that the thread actually doesn't extend past the end of the model. So we're going to extend that ourselves. So if we come up to this top here, and we are going to go to an offset, and I'm going to extend that thread the distance of my pitch. So it's 1.5. I'm going to flick the direction so it comes outside of my model like so and that will run all the way through i can make sure of that by either um, setting the distance in blind or just clicking um, up to selection also i can click maintain thread length that means that it will extend from the starting point of the model through to the rest through the rest of the model adding on that offset rather than just moving the thread along by the distance of the offset okay once i'm at that point i'm just going to tick there and i'm going to turn it around and you will see now i have got a thread on the inside of the nut okay so that was the first component that we're going to run through the second component there was the washer so i'm just going to open a new drawer in okay that and I'm going to create the washer. Now the washer is really simple. It is literally just two circles. So again, I'm just going to click a plane to draw them. I'm going to sketch on that plane. Find the circle tool in the sketch. And I've got my first circle and then my second circle. Now I'm going to set sizes to this now separately. Once I've drawn them out, I'm just going to set sizes to both. So for the circles, to give a clearance on the outside of the bolt shaft, I'm going to set the inside hole of the circle to 11 millimeters. And then the outside of the washer should be set to a 34 millimeter washer. And again, these are just standard sizes taken from um, a standard size sheet of the internet. So I've got my two sizes there. Um, them two sizes there are perfect to scale. So I'm just going to extrude them to give me my 
thickness of my washer. Now, obviously, 10 mm is going to be way too big. Standard size for a washer for this component would be 3 mm. So we're just going to strip that to 3 mm. Okay. Okay, so at that point, that's our two components modeled up, um, up to scale. Now, it's at that point, you'd then be able to, if you wanted to add materials, you can go into add materials um, uh, and just make them look a little bit more realistic. In my next video, uh, part two of this one, I'm going to create the bolt and we'll start looking also at then assembling the components together. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe and see you soon.